Hi, folks. Welcome back from TimCast.com. Star Russian player banned by International Chess Federation for supporting Putin. Now, normally I wouldn't comment on a story like this, but I'm a chess player. I know I've been following a lot of these players for years and years. This is Sergei Karyakin. He played in the world championship not too long ago against current world champion Magnus Carlsen from Norway. Uh, came down the end. It was pretty close, but he didn't make it. Magnus, of course, uh, pulled through and kept his championship. This The International Chess Organization that runs the international tournaments and such in the World Championship is called FIDE, F-I-D-E. I think it might be in Latin, Federal, International. It doesn't really matter. That's an organization that's had some real sketchiness in its past. It's a little bit better now than it was. Nigel Short, the old English grandmaster, I should say still grandmaster, he played for the World Championship once. He is now an officer in FIDE. He's usually a no BS kind of guy, so that helped it a little. But basically, Karyak can come out in support of his president, Russian President Putin. Now, does that make him a, a dick? Probably. Depending how it's worded, I really don't know, nor do I care. And this article is written by Cassandra Fanber Fairbanks, who I like a lot. She's really cool. So, you know, I'm covering this because international chess I followed for a long time. And back, I remember as a boy, I'm old enough to remember Bobby Fischer in the 1970s, basically took out the entire Soviet chess machine, and they were a machine. Basically cornered the market on the world championship and the top positions in world chess hierarchy for a long time, and Fisher smashed them all. And after that, FIDE busted up, and to make a long story short, they're not too bad now. But what he got banned from international chess is the fact that he can't play in a series of tournaments. It's kind of like a regular season. If you're, say, you're a football person, you play a regular season. And then after that regular season is over, you pick certain teams to go into the playoffs. And the winner of the playoffs plays in the Super Bowl. While in chess, you'll have a series of tournaments, Grand Prix tournaments, they call them, where you accumulate points for wins and it's a long process, and that gives you the right to play in what they call the Candidates Final, the Candidates Tournament. The Candidates Tournament, I believe, is eight players. Just like the playoffs in football, those eight players will play each other, and whoever wins plays the world champion. Just like football, the two teams that are left after the playoffs play each other in the Super Bowl. Sergei so Karyakin, 32, is banned by chess authorities for six months, meaning that he will miss the candidate's tournament. That's the final tournament that determines who plays the world championship if he qualifies for the candidates. And by qualifying, he has to play in a series of tournaments, and they're stopping him from doing that. And the opportunity to qualify for a title against Magnus Carlsen. Now, I'm not Russian. I don't even, I don't even care what's in the letter. Karyakin was also specifically blacklisted from chess organizations in the UK and Norway. I think that's absolutely asinine. Responding to the news of the band, Karyakin said, I just don't remember such a precedent when a chess player was not allowed on principle. It's a shame. As translated in a report from Russian outlet RT. Now, people make fun of Sergei Karyakin quite often. He does have a stutter, especially when he's a little nervous. And English is not his first language, of course. So he's doing this through a translator. The idea was to prevent me from playing in the Cannabis Tournament and deprive me of a possibility of entry in the World Championship match against Magnus Carlsen. He's the current champion. And he's right. Karyakin added, I don't know if I'll be returning in six months of tournaments under the aspects of FIDE. They dishonored not me, but themselves. They can send out a strongly worded letter. I don't care. Press release. Uh, Sergey Karyakin, we think, you're, we think you're a scumbag. They should not bar him. Should not bar him. The Grandmaster alleged that his ban was politically motivated. Of course it was. Virtue signaling is always politically motivated. As one of the presidents, presidents of International Chess Federation is a Russian. 
That's FIDE. It's just the idea. This individual is trying to show that he's a European official. He wants to remain FIDE president. Of course, there's a lot of perks involved. He decided to sacrifice me for his political ambitions. That might be a little that might be a little over the top, but it's not wrong. The organization admitted that outrage on social media contributed to their decision. Yeah, mob rule. Canceling people, virtue signaling, mob rule. How many people on social media? It doesn't take many. That's the problem. The statement of Secretary Karyak in the ongoing military conflict in Ukraine has led to a considerable number of reactions in social media. So the FWA and elsewhere to a large extent negative towards the opinions expressed by him. Yeah, they got that right. Said International Chess Federation in a statement. Another Russian player, Grandmaster Shipov, was also investigated by the chess organization for similar comments. You don't investigate people for comments. The organization found his statements less objectionable than those made by Karyak, and he was not suspended. Now, well, who gets to decide that? What specifically is less? And what statements and what words used get you suspended? See, that's the problem. There's nothing that's in stone. There's no rule saying you say X, you get thrown out. It's all subjective. Kuryakin has 21 days to appeal the decision. The Chess Federation has also vowed to do so. For his part, Kuryakin has not seen the point of appealing and refuses to apologize for his beliefs. I don't see the point of filing an appeal. Any court will take the side of Europe. And FIDE's international sports organization does not like everyone else. It does like everyone else. And by some coincidence, Russia is leading it. I think that is not for long. I understand there is such danger of disqualification, but I believe that I am first and foremost a citizen and patriot of my country. And I say well, this without any boasting. If such a situation arose again, I would not be silent, but again, I would write such a letter. I do not regard what I, I do not regret what I did. Choosing between supporting my country and participating in the candidates tournament, I'd always choose the first one, he said. Now, I, I'm, I'm sure whatever is in there really sucks. And what's going on in Ukraine is horrific. It should go without, say, without saying. But the fact of the matter is, he's got a right to his opinion. Now, am I using so-called American uh, Bill of Rights? Put it towards Karyakin with this? Kind of in a way. We have a unique constitution here, the only one in the United States that guarantees freedom of speech, to my knowledge. Canada used to have it, so did Australia, but apparently not anymore. At least it's on paper only. And we're losing ours little by little here in the U.S., but still, we have the most. You know what? Call him a scumbag. Uh, you know, don't shake his hand when he goes to play in the tournaments. I mean, you use that insult. That's been done before. And by the way, it's against FIDE rules not to accept a handshake of another player is considered poor sportsmanship. But you can ban somebody for their political views, whether they're really, really good or bad. I find that fascinating. Go look up on YouTube, uh, Nigel Short, a uh, refuse handshake. It was, an, it was a Bulgarian guy. I didn't like Nigel years ago. And according to FIDE rules, he has to forfeit his game for not being sportsmanlike, but they can do this. All right, Sergey. I think you screwed up, but you stood up what you thought was right. I think fee day, as usual, really sucks. I haven't heard what Nigel Short's going to say because I have a lot of respect for Nigel. He's now a vice president in fee days from England. So we'll have to see. But it's wrong, it's wrong, and it's wrong. I'll always defend your right to be wrong. Until the next time, goodbye. And good luck. Mm -hmm.